guys, what is up? It's the Citrus Panda here today. Let me start off by saying I am an average gamer, and uh, this gameplay is not the best, I have to say. I mean, it, I do go 13 and 3, but that's probably one of the best games I've had in a while. Anyway, so um, now that I got that out of the way, I want to talk about a, uh, a subject that, you know, is kind of weird, but I think a lot of you guys will maybe enjoy it. Um, how much do you use technology? Um, you know, just the general topic. I mean, when you think of the word technology, you might think computers and, you know, tablets, phones, cell phones, all those kind of things, and newer technology. But, I mean, if you look at the definition of technology, here, we, here we're going to do like a school lesson here. I'll tell you the definition of technology. Technology is the making, modification, usage, and knowledge of tools, machines, techniques, crafts, systems, methods of organization in order to solve a problem, improve a pre-existing solution to a problem, achieve a goal, or perform a specific function. So basically what this is, is it's anything that we've developed that we came up with. Like, it wasn't mountains. Mountains were already there. We didn't come up with that. But to get up mountains, we invented things like grappling hooks and ropes and things like that and that would be considered technology now you have to also ask yourself like what i'm talking about here is not um you know ropes and stuff what i'm talking about is the newer technology as in computers and what you would actually think of technology so how much do you use it and what would you do without it what would you do without technology now i mean if you didn't have technology, first of all, you wouldn't even be hearing this. I'd be um, talking to nobody. Actually, I wouldn't be talking to nobody because I wouldn't have a microphone in front of me. I wouldn't be looking at my computer screen. I wouldn't be doing any of this. And you, YouTube would never have existed. The internet wouldn't have existed. If you said computer, no one would have any idea what computer meant. I mean, they'd just be like, what? A computer? No. How would we just lose technology? Well, if you want to... If, if you want an answer to that, I mean, most likely we never just lose technology. I mean, at this point in stage, it's pretty much impossible. But say that a solar flare flare came. Um, we have, like, you know, safety precautions and stuff like that and measures to, you know, if, if a solar flare were to, were to hit, it might put out technology and, like, electricity and stuff, electronics for maybe however long. But eventually we'd get them back up. But what if, like, you know, someone threw an EMP? Now... I'm not talking about a 15 kill streak EMP from Call of Duty, okay? And I'm not saying that this is an EMP that you can evade by having Assassin Pro. You know, you can't just put on Assassin Pro and be like, hmm, I'm just gonna uh, evade this EMP. No, this is real life. It's not Call of Duty. Um, you know, an EMP is an electromagnetic pulse, so electronic magnetic pulse. So what it would do is turn off all electronics. So imagine oh, one day you're just talking with uh, your friend on the phone, and here's a host migration. How horrible is that? Anyways, um, you're just talking to your friend on the phone, and all of a sudden, boom, you're disconnected. Your lights go out in your house. Everything goes out, and you're like, whoa, what just happened? And then you're like, oh, wait, I think there was an EMP. You probably didn't think that because that's probably not the first thing that comes to mind when the power's out. You're probably like, oh, man, there's probably lightning struck. And then you look outside, and it's like, sunny. So uh, that's probably not what happened. Anyways... So, there's other ways that electronics could come out, like say that like a meteor hits the earth, or if an earthquake hits, you know, the, your uh, main power station, say that uh, it hit the power station that provides power to most of the things in the area, it could hit that, or it could um, put down a power line, but what I'm saying here is, um, if that happened, I mean, it's not going to take, well, it might take down a cell phone tower, but if, for instance, your, electro uh, your electricity went out, then, yeah, your computers would be off, your lights would be off, all the other stuff like that, but things like your cell phones and whatnot would still work. So, you know, that's not really... But what I'm talking about is literally where you can't use any electronics. Um, and another thing is, I want to go into a topic, just kind of add this on. Um, you know, how much do we depend? How much do you depend on, you know, electronics? Because, I mean, you might use them a lot, but how much do you depend on electronics and technology? Because, um, the other day, I was going to Dave & Buster's with my mom. Uh, Dave & Buster's is like a, it's like a restaurant, then you can go play these, like, games. I don't know if you know what it is, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, so, we were going to Dave & Buster's, and we had a GPS. Now, the GPS, we, 
we couldn't find the address, so we put in a different address near where, where we were going, but apparently we couldn't find it. So we were just depending on this GPS to get us there, and we had to end up calling my dad to actually find out where we were. And that's just a huge example of how much we depend on technology. When you think about it, I mean, we depend on technology for a lot of stuff. Like, say that you want to talk to your friend. I mean, my one, my one of my best friends used to live where I live, and now he lives like, you know, 15 states away in a different, you know, a different state. And the only way I could talk to him would be through email, or you know, I could wait, um, or talk to him on Skype or on the phone. Now, obviously, I could send him a letter, but you know how long letters take. I mean, what we want to talk about is what's happening right now as we speak. I mean, I don't want to be like. Dude, what's up? I just got a kill in Call of Duty. Then a week later, he gets it. Then he sends back, "Cool, dude, just got a triple kill." No, that's not what um, that's not that wouldn't be that fun. Anyway, so right right here, I get the uh, game winning kill, and uh, well, almost here. Anyways, so I just want to say uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, leave in the uh, in the comments below. Kind of comments, uh, leave a rating and stuff like that, but comments what would you do without uh, electronics and how much do you depend on it and uh, so you know how much do I depend on it I depend on it quite a lot especially being a youtuber and I use electronics all the time so uh, tell me what you guys think in the description and uh, see you